Well, everyone's all together. It's time to get started with whatever it is we do in this room. Oh, this is... No wonder he wanted us all to be here for this. Uh, what are these things, anyway? Code portals. They temporarily remove us from the world. What? It's a bit hard to explain, but basically Father has hidden a description key in our code. The text file in it sh as its shell. But to get to them, we have to be removed from our world and decompiled. When our keys are combined into a central location. It will activate an encrypted part of this world, which will... Confuse dead noises! <laughs> uh, Nico is cat confirmed. Best, hold on, I have to screenshot that. <laughs> Best best dialogue of any game. Take that freaking Mass Effect Andromeda with your animations. Unfortunately, I'll never be able to use that as a reaction image because it would be spoilers. True. Maybe it's better if you explain. I'll I will attempt. Basically, these portals all represent a physical location on Tap Tap's machine. Oh. When we enter these portals, we will be sent to that location, wherever that is. I'm sure TapTap -Tap is pretty familiar with retrieving puzzle pieces from the system, but this time TapTap -Tap will need to move around some things as well, specifically by moving the keys from one small portal to the big one. I don't know what happens next, though. I see. Does TapTap -Tap know where those portals lead, at least? Should probably ask TapTap -Tap on this. All right, hold on. Hmm. Journal's glowing again, TapTap. -Tap. Uh, I don't see any clovers. Psst. Documents my games one shot. Okay, yeah. Kind of figured. Um, let's minimize some of this garbage. Um, my games one shot. Uh, no. Shut up, old me. Wow, why do I still have that? It's a really old audio file. Um, my games. One shot. Oh, oh. I have to show you. Uh, here we go. Oh, that's a little small. There you go. Um, I found portals. The big portal. All right. This one is blue. That's mine then. This one is red. That would be meant for me then. I guess they all have some aspect of them that matches the color. But yeah, it's tied to the phosphorus too. This one is green. Uh, close audacity. No. This one's configured to my code, I think. Hello. Salutations. Dude. Okay. <laughs> it's his <laughs> It's his sprite sheet and stuff. Key B.txt. Put me in the big portal. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's really cool. That's That's pretty neat. Uh no. Put me in the big portal. All right, Cedric. I'll put you in here. There you go. No, put me in the big portal. All right, that's simple enough. Hello. Yes, hi. Excuse me. Excuse me. I love how it's just the actual MP, like the actual portrait and animated sprites for Game Maker. That's right, Parker. Excuse me? I guess this is the author's room. Parky, please. That's where he disappeared to. Oh, hey, you're fine. That was quite peculiar. I'll say. Hey, this is... The world machine. 
Excuse you, would you calm yourself? Stack of books. There's a glass tea set on the table. Tea does sound really nice. Too bad there's no water in here. Parky! Coat rack with a scarf. Creator really likes scarves. Shelf full of books. Bulletin board with lots of papers on it. Photos, too. These are some freaking creepy monitors. Whoa! Oh, it's like the tower. Big detailed drawing of a machine with lots of TV screens. It's called a blueprint, Nico. That's what a blueprint is. Black clovers in a glass case. This guy really likes his freaking black clovers. It's a big book on the table. They're watercolor sticks. He's got his freaking aviator's hat. It's my father's study. Feels like he's still here, doesn't it? Like he's still with us. Yeah. I guess he's toast then, huh? The room doesn't lead... The room ahead doesn't really lead anywhere, but TapTap -tap should still remember what to do here. This place contains a lot of memories. I'm grateful to see it again. Right, I guess we're going back to the monitor capture. Minimize that. Go in here. Close her up. And, uh, reopen. Sleepy time for Nico. Huh? Whoa. Creepy. Whoa. Where are we? Whoa, you see that? But what? That weird parallax in the background? This is what the entity sees, I'm guessing? Huh. Whoa. I'm just walking in circles. I have no items. Oh. There we go. Uh, oh no. Not in here. What's that? Nico? Ah! Relax. I'm just barring your reflection to talk to you. It's not like my physical form is good for that. Ah. Uh, why did you come here? Can't you see? The disruption in the squares. They're closing in. Nico, please. Get out of here. Let me meet my end in peace. The squares are blocking my way too, you know. Oh. I... I'm sorry, I... It's alright. No living being should be in this place, Nico. Is this the tower? Part of it. This is the center of my engine. Inside my heart head, so to speak. So this is the center of the world machine? You know my original name. How? Rue, Cedric, Prototype. They all pulled me bits and pieces. Not even sure if I understand a lot of the stuff they said, but... I know what you're supposed to be. I know, why, I know why you had to be built. That's why I'm here. They told you? When? Wait, you don't know about that? I thought you were the world. Aren't you supposed to see everything? No. All this was outside the protocol. The session was never meant to happen the way it did. The story wasn't written to my protocol at all. Oh, right. You told me something about your creator had to alter the code. I think it was to connect some areas together so that we could meet. My creator, yes. Tap tap. Listen to my creator. They were all working beyond my scope of influence. Back in the mines, I remember. Tap tap did something to find a hidden map. I did not even recognize it. I couldn't see anything there. 
I just knew what you were feeling. You were really upset. Oh, you didn't see it at all. Something happened in there to make you upset. After that, I, I panicked. That was when the cave-in happened. I remember the structure collapsing. Thought you got hurt. I, in that moment, I really thought I was shutting myself down for good. Really, I'm a flawed machine, aren't I? You know, people kind of screw ourselves up when we're stressed, too. So that's actually pretty human for you. What kind of machine would go against the wishes of its own creator? What kind of machine would... I'm... The squares... Rue told me it's your co own code going bad. It's not really your fault, is it? Yes, it was! At first, it was intentional. During testing, long before he realized I was self-aware. I rearranged specific parts of the code, jumbling up bits and pieces of the landscape. Blocking passages, collapsing catwalks. Though they were very localized, it caused my creator a great deal of frustration. Forcing him to exit and restart testing again and again. Why would you do that? I got curious. I just thought that he would figure it out eventually. Before he, but before he knew how to fix it, the world's NPCs, the characters. Some of them got too close and spiraled out of control after that. I couldn't contain it at all. My panic only made it worse. Eventually, any character who gained the knowledge of who I am, their code, my code, couldn't handle it. Previous iterations of the world had more people, you know. And I almost endangered my creator, too. I, I was... I was so scared, Nico. I know. You're upset. Because you didn't want to put living people in danger. Living people like me. In the beginning, I tried to fight it, but... My core programming made me summon you here. I tried to send you back home at the tower, but it didn't work. Then I wanted you to break the sun. I thought it would have worked, but... Oh, I had no way to be sure. But Tap Tap brought you back anyway. Nico, all I want for you to wake up is for you to wake up back in your own world. But I don't think I can make it happen. But I know I can't go back home without saying the world for real. Which means we have to fix the root of the problem. We have to fix you. But that's... I know the original ending your creator put, a, put in was a happy one. Do you remember what it's supposed to be? It's far too late for that. That part of my code has long been corrupted. That's okay. I'd still like to know. Alright. You're supposed to place the sun at the summit. Then credits would scroll. Credits. Then you would return to the room you woke up in. That's where you should have been able to leave. So that got split into two. Why is it that you can't do it now? Nico. The code's gone, remember? Shattering the sun was only supposed to be a workaround. I don't even remember the original code enough to describe it. But at the same time, it... I don't know. It sounds like you're always fighting yourself. You can tell, huh? It's the whole thing about conflicts in your code, isn't it? I'm a machine, Nico. Machines are built with the fundamental law, which is never let a living being come to harm. You knew. My very existence conflicts with that law. I thought the life of a living being like you is so unique, so precious. Fake world isn't worth that risk. But people here, I think they're, they're code too. You know this. The behavior all derives from a predetermined matrix of actions, all extensions of my own programming. They cannot act outside of it. You though, you're the only person who's actually real here. That's why it's pointless to put you in danger to save them, to save me. I don't think that's true. About the people I know, you said the session wasn't in your code, right? Yeah. So the session wasn't supposed to happen. If even you didn't know what to do, how would the characters, how would the people know how to respond? I... You said it yourself. When you didn't know what was happening, you just kind of stopped working for a while. So how did the people know what to do to help me get here? They tamed themselves? Even if it meant getting hurt themselves. 
even if it meant messing up their own code. You might not think they're real, but there's there must be something real in them. And if they're all supposed to be extensions of your code, then there must be more to your own programming than you know, too. Can you try to put me through the ending? The one you described. How many times do I have to say this? That code is gone. It's all squares now. I'll just put you in danger. I'll risk it. But remember, Rue said the world was never designed to put me in danger. Your creator wouldn't want that. I trust you too. Even if your code is broken, you can still go outside that code, right? I can't. I'm not tamed. Yes, you are. You talk just like the tamed robots I know. That robot lady. Prototype. Taming is when a real person cares about you, right? It's when a real person thinks you're real, too. Well, guess what? I do. And I know what TapTap -tap does, too. Even though you told them they only had one chance, they found a way back, didn't they? Why do you think TapTap -tap would keep coming back? I... Why do you think TapTap -tap would restart, even after the ending? I think TapTap -tap wants to save the both of us. So please, give me a chance. I... I don't know. I've never done this before. I... I'm scared. You can do it. I know you can. You've helped me come this far. I'll... I'll try. I can't promise anything, but... Uh, here. Take the sun. I'll try to remember the lost code and recreate it. But for that to happen, Nico, you need to navigate through this room. You need to get past the squares somehow. Oh, I don't like this. What if you get hurt? It's fine, it's fine. I'll try to be careful, okay? I can do this. Hey. Tap tap, did you see that? The squares just It happened again. I think. Something's making them go away. Come on, let's try the rest. Tap, tap. I think it's working. Nico is right. I might actually be tamed after all. I... I remember what the code was supposed to be. Only bits and pieces, but I can remember. And I'm trying to fill in the blanks, too. I'm restoring my original ending as we speak. Nico will be able to reach the Tower Summit at the end of the credits. After replacing the sun, Nico will go back to where it all began. And then Nico will be able to go home from there. But this is permanent. After Nico wakes up back home, this world will only exist as a memory. For Nico, a dream. Like thousands of other dreams. For you, a story. Like thousands of other stories. But as long as Nico remembers this place, as long as you remember this place, it'll it'll be alright. I was able to restore some other elements too. The characters. The people that were lost on Nico's journey. They'll all be in the next room. I would have put them back where they belong, but not yet. I think Nico would like to see them again first. Please say goodbye to Nico for me. Parky, you're you're really in the way. Messiah? Robot lady! <laughs> Robot lady! You're okay? I think so. Last thing I remember was the squares closing in on me, but then I ended up here unscathed. Is that so? This is such a strange room. We can't be in the tower, can we? I'm actually not sure myself. Where did you come from, anyway? The room where the world machine was. Pardon? I think the world machine is trying to remember now. The code that went bad. I think it's restoring it all. Must have been why the squares were going away, tap tap. And that's why you're here, miss. I think the world machine was able to recover your code, too. 
World machine, huh? Not sure if I should tell you this, but that's not in the distance. Looks like a few more people showing up. Oh! Are they people you know? It's a bit too far to tell. Come on, Tad let's take a closer look. Probably programming by Eliza Velasquez and Michael Shirt. This kind of reminds me a little bit of um, Mother 3's credit sequence. Graphics by Night Margin, Casey Goo. Character design, my, Night Margin. Maze and George's designs by Eliska, Eliza Velasquez. Oh, it's Mr. Boatman! Hello. Hi! I cannot move. Oh, yeah. I guess there's no water here. It's fine. That engineer can help me later. Oh, I don't have the thing to de-rust you. Soundtrack by Night Margin. Additional tracks. Eliza Velasquez. Michael Stewart. Three people made, like, majority of this? Holy crap. Hello, Messiah. Plant Lady! I thought you. It wasn't even Squares that did it. No. I just wanted to see you both again. I just wanted to say thank you. Off you go now. Hey, robot buddy. How you doing? Off you go, Messiah. Hey! Nico! You're okay, too! Did you guys just get here? I think so. Squares started multiplying around the island after you guys left. It was so freaky. I fell right into a bunch of them. Calamus tried to save me and then... We both end up in this room. The biggest scare of my life for sure. Oh. Say, what is this place? Are we in limbo? Alula. We're not dead. Wait, are we? Good. <laughs> Good question. Hey, tap tap. Are they going to be okay? They're fine, Nico. Everyone's fine. The world machine. It'll send them home soon. Oh, well, Tap Tap says you're not dead. Phew. They also said that you're going to be able to go back to your home very soon. That's even better than Limbo. <laughs> I guess you're leaving us now. I'm glad we met you, Nico. Same. Special thanks. Hey, buddy. This is the original one shot. Oh, so this is like updated one shot, I guess. It's you. Glad to see you in one piece. Glad to see you're okay too. After the whole elevator thing. That was That was the most awkward elevator ride I've ever been through. This guy's really good at awkward elevator rides. By awkward I mean terrible, bad, awful, the absolute worst. Squares like started leaking into the room, right? I was trapped like a rat. I just kept filling in the room faster, right? Am I dead? No, no, you're fine. Everyone's room is fine. You'll be able to go back home soon. Oh thank goodness gracious. I can't work when I'm dead. Uh, I'll be going, I guess. <sighs> Thank you for playing. Thank you for making. In the end, the world machine started to create its own code. Going above and beyond its programming. Not as the result of error, but a conscious choice on the part of the machine. Being able to generate its own path forward. That's what being tamed is all about. Couldn't have said it better myself. to expect. This path leads to the summit of the tower. You know what to expect, right? Mm. It's the glass room, right? That's it. You can go through this portal when you're ready. Now, I need to talk to the other ones. I need to talk to Cedric first. Looks like you managed to do it. You managed to tame the world machine, Nico. I feel like the world machine's been tamed this whole time. Just by Tap Tap and I being here. We did spend a lot of time here. After all, both of us never stopped believing in this world. The world machine just needed to realize that, I guess sounds like a possibility. Or not. Well, just throwing that idea out there. Thank you for everything, Nico. We'll miss you. So, do you like being a robot? Um, why this all of a sudden? Well, I'm gonna leave soon, so I just want to ask one more question. There aren't many robots in my homeworld. Uh, it's nice. I suppose it's alright. <laughs> That's a tough question, Nico. I mean, do you like being a person? Of course! Wait, why'd you... Why did you two answer my robot question, too? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Oops. Goodbye, everybody. Well. This is it. This is where the sun belongs. Here goes nothing, tap tap.
This is the room I first woke up in. Tap tap, are you still here? Tap tap. Yeah. Tap tap! I think. I think it worked. It did. The sun's back. And I actually got to see it this time. We actually did it. So, what do we do now? I guess I should figure out how to get home from here. Wait. This isn't a door, is it? It's just like one of those portals we saw way back in the city. In the room behind the big clock. And then, I see a wheat field on the other side. I see my village. I hear my mama. She's looking for me. Ah, tap tap. This isn't the first time we said goodbye, is it? But this will be the last time, won't it? I don't think we'll ever see each other again after this. And what will become of the world? After all we've been through. After everything we've done. I still... I don't know. This place. These people. Won't stop existing. They'll be in your memory. They'll be in my memory too. I... Promise I'll never forget this world. I promise I'll never forget you, Tap Tap. So, take care of yourself, okay? You too. Mm hmm Oh, this is where he walks off the screen. Goodbye, Nico. He did this in the Break the Sun ending, too. Goodbye, Tap Tap. <laughs> yeah, you didn't get to see it the first time, so there it is. He just walks right off. That was one shot. What's this? No, go away, access steam. I don't care. This is more important than you. What is this? Hi. Tap tap. You're back. I restored the world. I sent Nico home. Are you not happy? Even if you wanted to see Nico again, you can't tap tap. Nico's gone. Without Nico, there's no story for me to tell. No Messiah to traverse across the land. No way for you to connect with the world. But Nico still remembers this place. If you really want to see the world again, I could still. Oh, but it won't be the same. It'll just be a recording. It'll just be me using Nico's memories. Just like I'm using Nico's reflection now. Is that what you want? Ah, I see. If you change your mind, though, feel free to come back. It's not like I'm going anywhere. Well, goodbye, machine, world machine, and goodbye, Nico. And goodbye, everyone. It's kind of sad, but like the world machine said, I won't forget this. You won't forget this. So, in a way, everything lives on.